what's up guys welcome to the channel uh it's about 85 degrees today it's not real bad it's a little humid we're getting out of it it's september and uh I got, i'm looking forward to getting some major work done uh this morning let me spin you around i've been working on all this mess getting it picked up organized got the saw picked up put away well when i say put away I mean, I jug it and stuck it in there. That thing's huge. I don't know where else to put it. I don't have room in the shed. And I'm going to work on picking up all this loose pieces of 2x4. I've already started in here. I'm starting to pick up the trash. I got that tin out of there. I drug it over there out of the way. But I still got all these boards to pick up and all these little pieces. I don't know what to do with. Some of them are too small to do anything with. I got quite a pile started over there by the fire pit I don't feel like burning today so I'm gonna start working on this box and uh, these are the big 14 foot posts they're gonna have to stay I could probably make them look a little better and all my decking boards I hope they're not bowing up too bad under there I do got them set on uh, on some boards they should be all right but I may move this stuff off top here and check them out I need to get them laid down and then that's T111 hey there's my baby sledgehammer I've been looking for that darn see and I'm starting to clear off that table I want to get that table moved out of there that is a heavy duty workbench uh, I don't know where I'm going to put it but man I've had screws in these like these cups Look at this, it's been so hot. This stuff just disintegrated. And there's still like, I've been trying to get these kind of things picked up. Perfectly good roofing screws. But it's just a bunch of junk, man. You know, I'll bet you anything that's empty. Nope, look at that, I left that out. That'll still be good. There's where that went. All right guys, let me check in with you here in a little while. Uh, it's starting to warm up, so what I've been doing, coming out, working 15, 20 minutes, and going in, drinking some water, coming back out. I still got to find room for my uh, table saw stand inside the shed. That thing's too expensive to leave out. Of course, I've left that whole saw out for months. But I had it covered in a tarp, and it's, it's fine. All right, let me get to work, man. Let's get this place looking better. Looking pretty wicked. Yep. I don't think it's really going to do anything though. It's been doing this for about an hour. Well, guys, I didn't get anything done today. Well, actually, I did. I went and got lumber. I got two more gallons of paint for that project there. And, uh, you know, they've been calling for rain, so I didn't didn't start painting today. But I, I picked up the trim for the storage room and the rest of the building, and we're going to get that put in this weekend and I'm gonna start on the painting as long as the weather cooperates but uh so we're gonna get on that it's still loaded in my truck but I gotta go back to town tomorrow because I forgot dog food and they don't have enough to make it till Tuesday so but I'm out here on the back deck unfortunately I'm going to show you guys a few things so you don't make the same mistake. Now, when I first built this was pretty, probably five, six years ago. But I used untreated lumber. And this thing is trash. It's just wasted. I thought I would get to go the cheap route, get the untreated, and put a 
deck stain on it but it didn't work you know this stuff didn't last very long at all even these and these were treated this whole thing's trashed I spent weeks building this thing the good thing is the base is still good these are the old uh, boards that came off the old deck over the over the uh, back window back door there on the loft and uh, this cedar lasts forever now I've got a lot of joists in there unfortunately the base is all made from treated and it's okay so but I'm just going to have to tear all this down. I'm not going to mess with it for a while. These are treated. So all that's good. All this is good. That's all treated. Alright. Well, let's go take a walk over to the cabin. There's a bunch of kids out driving me nuts. Alright. Oh yeah. Look at these. No good. These are no good, so I'm gonna have to tear this back apart. See, number one, I built this. They cannot withstand heat. They're all cracked. Every one of them's cracked now, so I can't even light this fire. I've got a lot of scrap in there, so seemed like a good idea at the time. Uh, if I would have filled them, which I never did before I burned it the first time, well. I probably wouldn't have this issue. Uh, here's all the rocks from the old one. So I'm gonna end up putting them back up because I need to get burning. I got a lot of stuff to burn piling up on me. Alright. And unfortunately, I don't think these tomatoes are gonna bounce back enough to give me any tomatoes. They look terrible. They're starting to brown up down at the base. That one's all but dead. Uh, even the... Look at the bell peppers. And they've been watered. They're croaking. I got the last of the peppers off today. I got a big, pretty good score on them. But it is looking pathetic. Probably one here. It's probably no good. Give that to the chickens. Yep, this one might produce something. But look at these marigolds go. Ain't them things nice? Different colors. Yeah, they're all doing good. Yep, pretty disappointing year. Chalk it up as a, a loss and go on the next year. Now right, let's go down here. I did get most of this picked up yesterday, you know, much as I can do. Still need to pick up these little boards here, but I got the saw put up. Got some of that, all that trash. I took four bags of trash to the dumpster. So we're gonna trim this out tomorrow. I'm gonna fill in all the gaps, get the tie back cut. I'm gonna try to get up here. I've got enough of this uh, pieces to finish this. And then get it painted. And we're going to get some trim on there. Got to go around the other side. Uh, the cheapest, believe it or not, the cheapest route was 2x4 treated. I wanted, they don't have 1x4 treated. They had some half inch one, uh, by 6, 16 foot cedar. They wanted almost $3 a linear foot. I could go to the sawmill and get that same piece for probably 6 bucks. So I didn't do it. So I'm going to go with 2 by 4s I'm going to build these eaves out to support this. Make it look better. It's not going to have a great big eave. By, by pointing up there. And I'm going to build this out. Put some eaves around it. That's kind of funky there. But you'll see when I'm done. It'll all look good. And there's, I still got to attach this stuff better. And then... I gotta do something with this fence because this fence has to come down here so I can work on the front of this building and I'll have to regroup it. I think it's starting to rain. I didn't really have anything to show you guys today, man. <laughs> but I've already got some film from yesterday. And that's a project tearing that old 
I sword part. Ooh, get some lightning. It is time for this man to get in the house. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. Give me a like, give me an unlike. I don't care. Happy trails. You better get back in. He don't like storms. Lightning now, now. There she goes. Zoom. Libby won't come out until tomorrow. 